All right, this should be interesting. Let's see if this little guy will make it up the hill. Not a bus, <laughs> but he owns a bus. This is Eric. He's got the Wonder Lodge. Oh yeah, he's good. he's gonna make it. quick. So we still have a bunch of these to get off. These are just broken off studs on the inside with the inner lug nut still stuck between the wheel uh, and the outer. Hopefully we'll be able to get the grinding wheel on the back side. They're all, you know, they started to come off and then seized up every single one because they were over tight in the stretch. So hopefully we'll be able to cut those off with the cutting wheel, but yeah, it's not gonna be fun. It's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that's a lot of extra work. One of the first things I questioned as soon as I took the wheels off of this bus was the lug nut. You can see, or the stud, how many threads were really holding it on because this had inner aluminum rims on it and aluminum outers as well. So the inner lug nut is for aluminum. It doesn't, the aluminum rims are much thicker so the lug nut can't get on there as far. So we looked up the spec on them and the number of threads, the distance of the thread needs to be at least the same as the width of the bolt um, on there. And it's very close, but these are actually short. We found the longer ones. Uh, so we just have a lot more stud that's gonna be engaging it. Um, and you can also see the inside of this, it doesn't start threading right away. Um, I don't know why they don't thread it in all the way to the end. That's another half inch or so. They could have been had threads on there. And there's no reason to not have threads there. That's so, but we've got, got longer ones coming now. Um, again, you can see in the lug nut how much thread is actually touching in there. And it's less, what is there, one, two, three, four? So you can, I mean, you can see how far it goes in and you can only see just a little bit at the end that it was actually holding it. And they're all like that. So there's the back side of the wheel with all those broken studs sticking through with the inner lug nuts with the studs in them. This one actually came off of the inner, but the inner and the outer are still seized together. So the problem that we had going on where these are, threads are messed up, they also messed up the threads on the outer lug nuts as well, which is why we couldn't get the outer lug nuts off. So they over tighten them all and uh, we'll talk about why. I mean, I know exactly why and how, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so I ran the cutoff disc, a pair of pliers and held this out. Have that. Uh... Oh, there we go. Now it'll come off. Got one. One thing I'm trying to look real close for is inspecting everything. Make sure there's no cracks because they had that so tight on there. I just want to make sure this aluminum rim didn't fracture at all around the holes. It's nice to look at it with your camera like this and then move this to your TV and view it on your TV screen because anything that looks, you know, the screen's much larger than, and any little thing might stick out a lot at you. I certainly wouldn't want to see it like cracking through here. A lot of times you'll see it come up from here to here too. That's just a scratch, I believe. So is that. We'll clean it up and take a look at it. Initial inspection, it looks okay. Hey, getting the new Coney shocks on the drive axle here. The bushings were worn and shot too, plus the shock itself was leaking its oil out of it. So definitely needed to be changed. Those short studs out. If we get a good angle out there, you can see the threads. Now they're all mangled and not in the same shape they're supposed to be. 
on both the lug nut and the stud, the inner lug nut and the outer lug nut. The scary thing is, is that's all, because the aluminum rims, that's all of the stud, all the threads that were holding that on, both wheels, with all that wasted thread availability. So we've replaced the studs, but hopefully that'll give you a good view of how messed up those threads were. Pretty impressive. That's the inner and outer lug nut. So obviously what they did is they used a one inch, one inch impact gun, giant gun, and just put these lug nuts on tight as can be, which they're always used to doing. Except but what they're not used to is having left hand threads. And those big impact guns usually have breakaway torque that's much, much higher. So maybe it was only like 2,000 foot pounds normally, and then it's like 2,800 foot pounds if they just wail on it uh, in the left hand direction to tighten on these left hand threads. And they just stretched the shit out of the threads, destroyed them. It was terrible. Um, I mean, you can't use those big impact guns to put wheels on. It's just not smart. And these tire shops know better, but they still do it and don't ever let them do that. They can use it to take them off, but pay attention to make Make sure they're turning them the right way and you got to watch out for that left hand thread stuff because they just totally screwed these up so we're checking the tune-up on this and the fuel injection timing on all the other ones has been spot on all of the exhaust valves were within a thousandth on it but when we put this particular one it's supposed to be 1.520 we're about 1.532 maybe so it's over, it's 10 thousands off from all the rest. But when I do that and I put that on there, I can see the, the follower. See how easily it's moving down there. So when I saw that wiggle, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this injector, but this is like loose. And it's really easy to move with my finger. The other ones, these aren't loaded right now. And I can't move these that way. I can push really hard and just start to move it, but that's just the tip of my finger just moves it. So we're gonna pull it out, see about replacing it. Or at least inspect it closer here first. Okay, so we got the new injector. There is no play in it left and right here. I can't push it down easily. So I think the spring failed somehow. And I could see on the old one, the spring was sticking out past the uh, follower on there. So, um, but yeah, much, much tighter and secure. It, it obviously would, would have been firing late, um, but uh, this should fix us up. So we're working on the bus, and Tyler goes, hey, there's a deer right there. It's the middle of the day, he's just standing there, eating. a little bit because we have the fuel system undone. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's no smoke, it's, it's running smooth. No, I would have kind of <laughs> clenching my butthole right now. <laughs> well, I tell you, it feels better already. That's good. I almost feel like I'm in control. <laughs> Not the tie rods in control. <laughs>
steering input looks nice for you there. Good test of the suspension here is going to be the uh, bridge transition coming up here. What transition? Yeah. <laughs> What's a lot better? Speed limit drops to 30 here, so be careful. Nice to have working shocks, huh? little test hill for you. It's got plenty of power. Everything feels good, the brakes feel good, the yep. steering feels good, the suspension feels good. The bearings even feel good. <laughs> no, it's, it's much better. I mean, everything feels tight and controllable, whereas before it was kind of making suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those shocks were really bad, so. I didn't get to ride in it before, but it, it feels nice. It feels like you're floating on the airbags. But before, over the transitions, it would definitely hammer. You could feel it. Bang, bang. Yeah, you're not at a high RPM right now, it's kind of... See, this is nice because I can, I can steer it around the corridor. Well, before it was, you're making it like a signal. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in alignment next week. With the sun flashing off the windshields. It's hard here sometimes, yeah. Drop a tire off the edge here, though. <laughs> Anybody done that yet? Not for not for me. But not. 
Adán. Get that bus grease monkey on the road Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound It's that bus grease monkey on the road He travels all around and he's coming to your town Get that bus grease monkey down the road Monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing. He knows in Detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town working on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lenny the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? 